Good evening. I feel a bit like a fish out of water here. Um, I was asked by Eamon to give this talk, and I just hope what I have to say is useful. He was talking about communicating about the problem of climate change and trying to see it from as many angles as possible. And it seems to me that there's a faith aspect to this, and that's what I wish to speak about. Religion, or faith, is not about laws and regulations. It's not about doctrines. It's not about what divides people, but what unites them. And Christianity has something very, very special to offer. We have a vision of God that's triune. We used to traditionally say Father, Son, and Spirit. Perhaps we could say Creator, Redeemer, and Spirit. God the Creator is the initiator of the whole thing the expanding universe, expanding at a faster and faster rate. A God that's so big we can't even begin to think about him, to comprehend him or her. A God that's so vast we can hardly even speak about that God. The Jews, the Muslims, try not to picture that God in images. God is involved with us, however. God is involved in creation. God the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, is God's aspect in creation, God joining into creation, becoming part of our creation. Of course he's part because the whole thing is to do with him. But we have a very special role to play. That's what Jesus Christ taught. We're invited to be co-creators with God of this magnificent planet. Co-creators, people who share. God will not get involved to solve the problems of climate change or anything else, no matter how much we pray, no matter how many sacrifices take place. He will get involved in so far as we, as people, are moved in our relationships with one another, here, and in particular with those less fortunate than ourselves. When we're involved in that and begin to look at the needs of other people, God becomes involved through us. We are to be, literally, his body and blood, God's body and blood in the world. That's what we're called to be. We are divine beings, not economic units. And the only way we find satisfaction is when we become what we're supposed to be, God beings. The work of the Spirit is God in you and God in me. It's that that inspires us with the beauty of nature, with the beauty of people, that drives us to search to know all knowable, which is truth, and to love all lovable, which is the essence of Christianity. Christianity, correctly understood and lived, demands that we see the, important, uh, the importance of every single individual person, their dignity, and therefore that we see the importance of what we do in looking after this world. Because if we don't, the injustice that already exists will become multiplied generation after generation after we have lost control. And that's really all I have to say.